Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we take a look at two amazing community creations. Now in front of me, we have an automatic landing gear, and we have a garage door. Both of these have been created by Auto, and both of them are true works of engineering. So this isn't your usual station ship review, this is something that goes much past that. This is the ability to tame Clang, to, well to a certain degree, something still will go wrong. But let's move our character over here. So first off, we've probably all seen many of these shutter doors in our lifetime, whether it's a garage or it's just a shutter of a shop, but you can see we've got this rolling pulley around the back, and if we hit the button, it activates a timer block, and the garage door begins to roll up around that rotor on the top. The amount of calculation and effort that's gone into build something like this is, is amazing. So if we have a look here, you can see that these are the guides either side, so these small wheels guide the door up and to keep that door in a correct position you can see we've got this guide bot sort of rod type beam down the side there let's attempt to ravel it back down now the thing to remember here as well this is a combination of a large and small ship blocks so you are tempting fate when you're messing around with stuff like this in space engineers but when you manage to pull something off like this it's damn cool so you can see we've got a little bit of a, a sticky looking issue as this rotor turns out and it looks like it's not closed all the way but as you can see this is some serious experimental stuff who knew a garage door opening and closing would be that damn exciting well there we go it's going back up there and it's rolling into that very small cell so if we actually have a look at it it's maybe two or three blocks wide very nice indeed we'll close it one final time and then we'll have a look at the landing gear so there we go let's see if it goes down all the way there we go, it's got an interesting wheel type noise as it goes down. The guide rods are taking it all the way down to the bottom. I wouldn't want to get a ship decapitated in this particular door. And there we go, it's starting to sink down to the bottom area. Come on, you can close all the way. Ah, not, not quite good enough, this is still perfect space for a burglar to sneak into your hangar. Now let's go and have a look at this other really cool design. So this one is a landing gear. It's a very, very cool landing gear. This is something that reminds me from Star Citizen, the um, level of detail and the rotating parts. So as we enter into this sort of catwalk, you can either kind of get the feeling of what we're looking at here. This is a really quite advanced landing gear system. Now, if we just make sure we set everything up, you can see that we've got on this side where the landing gear is tucked away on the rotors. The amount of rotors over there is, is already making me feel scared and uncomfortable. You can also see the pods on either side there as well. So let's hit that button and attempt to unfold this thing. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, we're gonna zoom out and you can see exactly what's happening here. So the gears fold out like so, and then they retract themselves back in, and there you go, we have ourselves a landing gear as simple as that. Let's, let's look at the retraction sort of feature. So we'll press it again, it opens up, and it retracts in. Stuff like this really makes me wish that Space Engineers was more stable on the rotors and pistons side of things because if you can do something like this, the, the possibilities are pretty much endless. So let's have a look from inside as we do this. So as we come in here, you can see the landing gears have been folded up to the side, pretty much like a plane. This is it's very similar to how a plane would operate with, I think, an extra step of the sliding door. So as we hit this button this time, we'll have a look from the inside just to see what's going on. So hit the button again. Okay, so the lower pod folds out the way. It looks to be on a pair of rotors, and that folds back. Now, this is what I'm interested in as well, exactly what's happening here. So these guys are folding up as well by the look here. So let's press the button one more time. Just really appreciate the level of engineering that's gone into that, yeah. Now, that's folding up to make that area really damn nice. This was a, this would be a landing gear I'd definitely want to use if I didn't want to tempt the game to cause some ultimate destruction. I really like the catwalk as well above in this area. I can imagine if this was turned into a whole ship, if auto worked on a whole ship like this, the, the level of detail and the amount of moving parts would probably just blow you away. Let's open and close this one more time. Grab that access control port, go into that position. I just really like how this part folds out to the side as well and then that retracts itself back in and it stays compact and it's pretty much perfect for landing. A really nice bit of engineering. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. 
I'd love you to also check out these items. They'll be linked down in the description below and really support the creators that are building stuff like this. Also, has done a great job and I'm sure I'd love to hear some feedback on his workshop items as well. Anyway, I just thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.